Welcome to the Zeitgeist Lab Collection Season 2. We are talking about community still. Alex, how are you doing tonight? I'm doing good. It, see, I have to say it's Season 2 because um, if you looked at our Twitter, it's a lot of people still talking about drive through Records for some reason. What's, all, what's all, that all about? I don't know. We got a lot of engagement. I simply asked if anyone remembers drive through Records, and suddenly we had people that do not follow us and that I did that we don't follow. We're like, oh, yeah, I remember that. Like, where the hell were these people last collection? But, why, uh, why are you asking about drive through Records? You should be asking people about, about community. Why? They, of course they know community. If they follow us, and they then they know about community. I'm interested to see who remembers drive through Records. Okay, well, I'm just... I'm saying that that kind of engagement could have better benefited us uh, last season. I was so confused by that. I was like, <laughs> that, that tweet got like 19 likes. It did? I didn't even see that. I just saw that there were a few people who responded. Yeah. That's a big oh, number wow. for us. Yeah. And I don't know how some people saw it. Was is like, did I say something that was a popular trending topic? Like, is there some sort of trending thing with drive throughs or something? I don't know what brought attention to that tweet. That was uh, was odd. Yeah, well, the fact that I saw it on the on, on our timeline and at all was was odd because we're in season two, man. We should be talking about community. We talk, you that's that's your thing. You tweet about community. <laughs> I, I'll, I'll I'll talk about my season. You'll talk about yours. Is that, I that mean, kind of. Thing? I mean, I'm more than happy to talk about community. I was just like, you know what? I haven't tweeted from the pod account recently other than uh, my tweet about butthole surfers on Mars. So I was like, well, let's see if anyone remembers drive through records. And apparently they do. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm glad we got that figured out. <laughs> I'm glad people remember drive through records. Hopefully. Oh, then you should, you should keep an eye on the stats then to see if our numbers for season one go up after that. They, it's weird. We have had some. I haven't looked since then specifically, but in recently we've been getting some numbers on our first season, and it's like the earlier ones. So I think some people have gone, have like started listening, and maybe they're listening in order. I think we finally got our twenty eighth listen on the uh, the River Phoenix episode, which was like the one that almost no one listened to, and like no one really listened to it at all after the first week. So someone finally went back and listened to it. Right. Interesting. Okay. Okay. I I am fully aware that, that was our worst episode in terms of what we chose to talk about, and um, yeah, it was just bad. Yeah, I mean, I had a good time. I, <laughs> Do you remember really, anything about it? Yeah, I, I remember um, we talked about that one move, that MTV movie. Okay. All right. Wow. I thought that was pretty good. Okay, that's a better memory than I thought you had because I swear to God, sometimes we you will forget things we talked about less than a week ago. Oh yeah, that, no, that still that still holds true. Okay, all right. As I lay me down to sleep, I've had that song stuck in my head ever since I watched this episode earlier today. Yeah, so okay, I don't even know who um, Sophie B. Hawkins is. I've never even heard of her. Before. You've never? Do you don't recognize? That song that I was just singing, or the Damn I Wish uh, I Was Your Lover no. song? Okay. I mean, those were pretty big songs in the 90s. No. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I was I was a child in the 90s, and I didn't know what was going on. I just, I just heard music and was like, okay, this is cool, and okay, this sucks. I yeah, don't I mean, know what, what it's called. I would say I was the same way, but I, just, I definitely remember those songs being on the radio, because, you know, my parents would listen to the radio, and I was riding with my parents a lot so i just remember hearing those songs i didn't i didn't know that the person who did it was sophie b hawkins until that episode this episode first aired and i was like who the fuck is this and then she started singing the songs i was like oh wow okay interesting i guess so for those who don't know we're talking about community her story of dance this is a season four episode this is the mm-hmm. only season four episode we'll be talking about because what i didn't say anything you say something? No. Oh, I thought I, I thought I heard it. And, I, and then maybe I heard an echo of myself. Maybe that was weird. <laughs> that was really weird. It was like it was like deeper. 
it didn't anyway. say anything, so I don't know what the hell's going on. It's deeper. Whatever I heard, it was deeper. I don't know. Anyway, I was listening to a podcast last night, and they were talking about a paranormal situation they had, and now I'm just freaked out about oh. everything. What podcast? Uh, it's called Demo Listen. It's like, hmm. um, it's like basically listening like people submit in their demos. They listen to them on there. What does that have to do with like, paranormal stuff? I don't know. It's just like an oh, I mean, you know how our podcast goes off the rails. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, no, actually, but, I don't. You know, know. Our podcast does not go off the rails. I don't know what you're referring to. <laughs> yeah. So uh, it was just one of those off-topic things that they were talking about. But uh, yeah, um, that was that was kind of weird. We'll, we'll 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 listen back. We'll hear what happened. Okay, I don't listen to the yeah. episodes, so you'll listen back. You never listen back to? No, I, I mean, listen I, back. I listen to them at like three times speed while I'm editing, so I can figure out what I want to cut out. But I can't remember the last time I listened to one of our episodes like at normal speed. Oh really? Yeah. I, when I was trying to edit it the, the, the other day, I was listening at normal speed. Excuse okay. me. Okay. I'm making all kinds of noises today. Hold on, I got a text message. Okay. All right. Cool. Anything good? Um. No, just from one of my parents. <laughs> one of your parents. So no. <laughs> my mom. Okay. So no. Doesn't she listen to this? Um. Isn't she going to hear you say that getting a text message from your mom wasn't getting a text message from anyone good? <laughs> it's always, it's just always something with her. It's just, you know, how it goes. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of squeakiness happening on your side. What is that? I mean, Daisy was just down here opening a door. Maybe that's what you heard. Oh, this sounds really squeaky. Does it still sound squeaky right now? No, no. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Our door squeaks, I guess. There it is. Yeah. Well, the door opened again. So squeaky. Yeah, squeaky door, I guess you mean. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we're talking about her story of dance. Yes. Um. I mean, you're going to get mad at me when I say, yeah, I don't like this episode very much. Then why did you pick it? But, uh-huh. but I had to fulfill one episode from each season. Okay, but okay. Mm-hmm. So, we can, so we could talk, so we could run the gamut of the show. Right. And you think this is the best episode of season two? Um, yeah, maybe. I mean, I, 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 I enjoyed it. But it's yeah, it's probably the best. I don't know. I don't, I don't. I'm not willing to sit through season four again just to make sure. Then okay, so then why did you pick I'm this one? Then yeah. like something had to have stuck out to you if you weren't willing to go back and rewatch it. Okay. Um, I liked the Abed storyline a lot. Okay. Did you like this episode? I did. I and I don't remember liking it too much. I mean, I remember it being a one of the better episodes of this season. Personally, I think my favorite one was Basic Human Anatomy, and that's like the Freaky Friday one um, that Jim Rash wrote. I think that's the best one. So I think that's actually like a really good episode. But I think this episode, Her Story of Dance, actually w- was really good. I don't remember liking it too much, but I watched it back today. And I actually thought it was really solid. The only places where I felt it faltered were with Chang and the Changnesia stuff when he's DJing and all that's really stupid. But I thought this was a really good Pierce episode, actually. Um, A a really good Britta episode and a really good Jeff episode. And on top of that, those aren't the best parts of the episode. I think the Abed storyline with um, Brie Larson is is really good. So I think this this is actually a really good episode. And um, I think I like it better than some of the ones we've decided to go back and talk about from other seasons. Really? I wouldn't have said that six months ago, but I think as I've kind of come to this realization that maybe 
this show is not as good as I uh, once claimed. This actually it would be something I'd point to as an example of the show holding up over time. Yeah. Um, okay, I'm really high, but do you always wear headphones when we record? When we record? Yeah, every single time. So that. I can't hear, <laughs> so I don't get an echo through my microphone of your voice. Uh, why did I just notice that? I, I don't know. Every single time <laughs> since the end of November of last year, these exact headphones. <laughs> the only time I did not wear headphones was when we spoke with uh, Mr. Scott Heisel, and editing that was a nightmare because I had to go through and like edit out when I could hear him echoing back on my audio track, so... Every time, Brian. But thank you for noticing after all these months. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I just had to address that. Okay. <laughs> um. So yeah, for taking my temperature today, well, uh, uh, sufficiently high. Sufficiently. Yeah, sufficiently high. Just okay. had. A, I I was able to. Scrounge up enough weed for half a blunt. I smoked that right before we did this and, and during this. Okay. And I've now discarded it. And we got a night. And then I had a half a nighttime clown up in. So it's smooth, Brian, tonight. Okay. All right. <laughs> I like how the, the random temperature. Like, segment just pops up anywhere in the episode. Somewhere. Not every episode. Not at the same like spot every effect. time. Yeah, it needs, like, an action news style, like, sound <laughs> effect. Like, whoosh. Stop giving yeah. me these prompts. Oh, no. Let me step away for a minute, okay? Okay. Hey, Alex. Hey, Brian. How you doing? Good. How about you? I'm doing well. Thank you. Can I interest you in uh, signing up for the Patreon? The Patreon? Oh, what? Which Patreon is that? I'm, there are so many Patreon options out there. I, I, I need more details, please. I'm talking about our Patreon, buddy. We have a Patreon? Well, of course we have a Patreon. Wow, I did not know that. T- tell me more. I'm, I'm interested. I want to know what I could get if I signed up for our Patreon. Okay, well, first of all, it's $3 a month. That's the lowest tier. And you get access to all of our bonus episodes, all st- all seven going on eight. Three dollars a month, that's it? That's it, that's... I mean, that's basically that, nothing. Like, I could probably dig that up and change in my couch right now. You got one rich couch, my friend. Yeah, well, I, I think it could produce three dollars a month. I've got a lot of quarters, so... Yeah, it's the, the, the same price as a fancy cup of coffee. Exactly, yeah. Most podcasts do five dollars a month is their lowest tier i've noticed five dollars that sounds like kind of a ripoff every every podcast that i subscribe to there's four of them i think okay or i subscribe to their patreon yeah all four of them are five dollars a month now i don't mean to harp on this but you're currently unemployed is that correct uh i have an interesting employment situation i wouldn't say unemployed i technically I'm hired by two different people. Okay, but with your current income, you can still afford twenty dollars a month. Is this correct? Barely. Okay, but so do you think? Knowing that, is it unreasonable that anyone could afford three dollars a month to get our bonus episodes? Oh, absolutely. It would be a lot easier if they're all three dollars a month. Right. So I would say maybe our listeners should start with ours, and if they need to cut any out of the budget, move to the five dollar ones. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's a good idea. We're good, we're good financial planners. Yeah. See, we care about our listeners' future. We know that they have long-term goals they want to accomplish, and we don't want to step on that. Exactly. That's why our lowest tier is three dollars. And if you sign up now, you what you get in the five dollar tier, you'd get in the three dollar tier. Oh wow, that's one hell of a deal. Am I saying that correctly, or is my do I have that wrong? Do I have that? Yeah, that's what I think. That's what we we had talked about. Yeah. Excuse me. Okay. All right. Where do I go? Like, if I wanted to sign up for this, where would I go? You would go to patreoncom slash Pod. Okay. Patreon. No, no, I don't think there's a .com 
after ZG Lab. Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> Patreon.com slash ZG Lab pod.com. Now you just sound like an old grandma right. talking about the internet or something. Sound like a what? An old grandma talking about the internet. Thinks every <laughs> part of it has to end with dot com. <laughs> That's me. The old grandma. Just wait until you try my cookies, though. Hot weed in them. <laughs> so that's patreon.com slash zglabpop. Yes. All right. Well, I'm going to go check that out right now. Well, we'll see if she uh, she's okay. She said they're crying about something. Uh, I, was, I was talking for a while. Yes, I could hear the headphones blaring as I walked away. Um, oh, really? So you could hear what I'm saying? No, I could just hear sound coming out of the headphones as I was walking up the stairs. Oh, uh, that was there. Yeah. Okay. Because you, might not, you might not know this, but I wear headphones, so I can't hear what you're saying when I leave totally because they're coming through headphones. I can't hear <laughs> that, but... Yeah, those are nice headphones. Yeah, they're not bad. That I'm just noticing. <laughs> so we almost talked about the episode so far. We got close, yeah. Mm-hmm. We got pretty close. Yes. Um, I liked the Dean at the beginning. What is... Is that... I was trying to figure out, is he dressed like a character from a movie? Or... It seemed very familiar, I but I can't put my finger on it. I don't know, but... Yeah... I just thought that was hilarious. It's funny. It is funny. Yeah. Um. Actually. Um. Yeah, that kid's fine. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. Is that the younger one? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. That's one that's afraid of going to bed. She gets that way sometimes. Yeah. I guess afraid of going to bed. Hmm. She was asleep when, before we started the call, though, so I don't know what woke her up. I don't know what she's freaking out about. See, I'm, I, I, I can't relate. I love going to bed. That's my favorite part of the day. Sure. I don't know, so I don't know what I don't know. What she's on. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, uh, the dean at the beginning was actually really funny. That was one of my notes. Okay. Um, I couldn't figure out what. Yeah, he was trying to. Like, the way he had painted his face. Couldn't figure out what that was all about. According to Wikipedia, it says that he's dressed like a woman from a black and white TV serial. So, I don't, I mean, I understand those words, but I don't know if it's a specific, um, like, 50s type TV show or something. But he definitely looked very funny. I thought he almost looked like, um, it looked like he was in, um, like a, uh, like a tea kettle or something that was animated to come to life. Like it looked like he belonged in Beauty and the Beast or some shit. <laughs> like he's he was supposed to be a tea kettle. Yeah, well, because the the dress or whatever kind of yeah. goes out like this, and then he's like oh, straight. Yeah. And yeah. Like it looks like it'd be great if he had done like the I'm a little teapot song or something like that. I'm a little Dean Pot. Mm. There you go. Nailed it. <laughs> See, I hate parody music, but I'm very good at it. You're very good at it? Yeah, I've written parody before. You know that I have too. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I I like your uh I like your cover this week, by the way. <laughs> sure, well that you're you're obligated to say that right after you tell me that you hate parody music. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if a friend makes them, then yeah, then it's fine. But okay, Weird Al is everyone's friend, though. So uh, no, he's, he's not my friend. He's everyone's he's my, friend. He's not my friend. That's my. I think that's my hottest take. Yeah, yeah. We've that, we've had, we've definitely had that. See, you don't remember talking about that before. Yeah, I don't know. I, I've 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 dropped that take before. <laughs> Several times. Yes. Mm-hmm. That was the first time anyone got mad at the Tattoozler. Yeah. Like when I said, we're, we're not. So I, re- I really peaked with that hot take thing. Potentially, yeah. Yeah. 
I don't know. Should the Fintuzer come back? I don't know. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. Yes. I'd like that separation of of tweets. (laughs) Is that the only reason why? I mean, I the Fentuzler. I mean, I know you, so I don't need the Fentuzler. I don't know. I can't say what the world is missing out on because I don't know um, how the world valued the Fentuzler. And you and I now have a friendship, so I personally don't need the Fentuzler. But I need to be a part of an account that doesn't tweet about the Milwaukee Bucks is more important <laughs> to what I need in my life right now. Yeah, I don't know. So, um, let's see what I'm, what I didn't really have many notes here. Um, yeah, the, um, Abed's storyline was really good. Um, this, I think this is potentially a good Britta episode. Um, but I don't know. I feel like it could have been fleshed out more. I think her- we have 23 minutes. Yeah, I, yeah, that's true. It's I, I, I feel like it didn't feel like a total win for Britta, okay. like because, like because, the reason why they they even got um, what is it, Sophie B. Sophie B. Anthony? What's what's the name? Sophie B. Hawkins. So yeah, the reason that was all Pierce's fault that they got Sophie B. Hawkins. What, what do you mean his fault? It's not his fault. I mean, like, it was, it was like he, he, not, not a fault, but like, he, it was, he was the one that got Sophie B. Hawkins to perform. Right. Correct. And like the reason they they had success is because of him, not Britta. So it only felt like a partial win for her. You know what I mean? I think that's fair. Um, but yeah, it's it's a rare, yeah, it's a, but uh, but overall, it was a rare good Britta episode. You know, where, the, where where she's not always the butt of the joke, where she kind of overcome being made fun of all the time. Right. Um. Yeah, I don't know. This one was okay. Overall, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. I thought I liked also how Troy, like Troy's trying to have this normal relationship with Britta, right? Because they're dating at this point. But he so desperately wants to be sucked back into like the world of the hijinks, and like he's like the part where he's like, "We've run out of chips," and he's like, "I'm gonna sneak into the other party and pretend to be a snack inspector, and then steal their chips." And Britta's like, "Well, you could just go to the supply closet and get more chips." And then he's got like a little fake mustache, and then later he get uh, like Abed gets a text message from Troy, and he's got the two bags of Let's chips, and he's got his little mustache on. I thought that was. Really <laughs> I completely missed that part. I don't know why. That was I. I totally lost that one. But that is pretty funny. Um, I like really talking about um, how Abed's trying to change this season. Uh huh. And he's like, I can't get in any high jinks or or kerfuffles or or wacky adventures. But escapades are they're a gray area. Right, they're a gray area. Yeah, yeah I thought that was really funny. Um, and I know one of the words wasn't kerfuffles, but I was trying to think of another wacky name. Oh, okay. I don't remember. Okay. I just I definitely remember escapades and hijinks. I don't remember any of the other words. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, let's. You want to see what the AV Club has to say about this Absolutely, one? Absolutely. Yeah. Is there a chance that you looked it up while I had stepped away from the computer? I did not. No, I was talking. I was. I was. I was potting. What about your commitment to look these things up beforehand? Yeah, didn't didn't uh, didn't come to mind. All right, um, AV Club. I should have this saved by now. I uh, yeah, yeah. Maybe you could like go through and bookmark the last four episodes worth of reviews. Yeah. That's not a bad idea. But uh will I do that, do you think? No. No, I probably not. It's a good idea though. Thank you. <laughs> I 
I mean, I know I'm not the executive producer, but I'm a creative consultant at the very least around here. Yeah, we have a team that we have an executive producer yes. all of a sudden. I don't remember. Um, I don't remember talking about that at all. Well, I mean, we're just the talent. We don't get a say on who the executive producer is. We're just the on-air talent. That is true. Emphasis on the word talent. <laughs> all right, all right. I got that. I think so, Podbean assigned him to us. I think that's how we end up with him as an executive yeah. producer. Is a Podbean decision. Right. Okay. Um. So we have the we have the review pulled up here, and it's not written by our friend Emily. Oh, okay. So she was out by season four. I guess so. Um, is, uh, this time we have someone named Pilot Veru Verut by Root. Their name, okay. the first name is Pilot. So Pilot gave the episode a B plus, which I think is pretty fair. I would, maybe I would have gone A minus, but that's a split. You're splitting hairs, really, at that point. Yes. Um. All right. Well, the first. Okay, so we're gonna do first sentence, last sentence here. Try to figure out what this guy's trying. To, I don't. I don't want to assume pilot's gender. Pilot is actually a very non-binary name. Now that I think about it, it's a name that I don't think I've ever come across. To be honest with you. Yeah, pilot has a very non-binary feel to it. Yeah, I don't know. The only pilot I can think of is Pontius Pilot, and that's a last name. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's more of a last name. As of tonight, Community is technically past the halfway point of its fourth and likely last season. Joke's Mm -hmm. on you, Pilot. They got two more after that. So that was the first sentence. Man, Pilot, I bet you feel stupid right now. Right, yeah, right at this exact moment. I mean, they should feel stupid because their name's Pilot. Okay, well, they didn't choose that, most likely. Yeah, yeah, that's who's to say. Okay, so we got a a long-ass sentence for the last one. Britt is not one of those characters who is in constant need of redemption. It's clear that the study group and the writers love her even if they sometimes express this in odd ways. But it's nice to see her truly enjoying herself and basking in her little success. Okay, so that kind of covers what we were saying earlier a little bit. I would be interested if, and looking looking this up, it appears that this author is identifies as female, I believe. And my, my internet's kind of shitting a bit here, but... I would be interested what to see what she says about some of the other characters because I actually think this has a really strong Pierce episode, um, and maybe it's because he maybe it's because you're essentially just sorry what yeah you saw that earlier and I couldn't I couldn't figure out why I think well I mean he because he's not an asshole he uh, <clears throat> excuse me. He's like not a not an asshole in this episode, and it's it's like a micro dose of Pierce. It's like a micro dosing Pierce, so it makes yeah, it more tolerable. Yeah, and yeah. when he shows up, he's actually he's on Britta's side, which is rare. Like you see him side with Annie a lot. You see him try to get in with Jeff. Like I feel like a typical Pierce thing would be to try to po- like prod at Jeff. Uh, sorry, to prod at Britta because Jeff is doing it. He always wants to seem cool like Jeff or whatever. So I think it's kind of maybe a subversion of the typical Pierce. And um, mm-hmm. I think it's interesting I don't, that Chevy left this season. I mean, we know that maybe it, it wasn't necessarily his choice, but I'm surprised he was maybe so unhappy with the writing because I know that he really liked Dan Harmon's writing and he probably did not enjoy the writing in season four. But I feel like they did a better job, at least this season, of not just making him the villain all the time. Yeah, that's a good. That's a really good point. Um, there are, I guess, there are some strong points to season four. Um, this, like in a lot, like for better or worse, you're getting a like a fresh perspective of writers. 
um, right. on the show. But, uh, yeah. Oh, I don't know. And just to make sure that I we get this cleared up, I want to make sure we uh, portray everything as accurately as intended. I found Pilot's Twitter, and to your point, they identify with the pronouns they, them, so you were spot on with the non-binary take there. That is a huge, that's such a huge victory. That's a huge victory <laughs> for you? <laughs> So is their, is their name actually Pilot? It appears so, yeah. Wow. I told you Pilot has a non-binary feel to it. Okay, I mean, I don't... I I didn't know that names could have a feel one way or the other. <laughs> Finding out I'm right about that is like the highlight of my day. Okay, well... <laughs> that sounds like a you problem. <laughs> That was like, that, that was like um, Babe Ruth just pointing that we, where he's gonna, you know, sure, and then hitting the home run. In that Everyone direction. loves talking about baseball from 110 years ago. <laughs> Why not? There's got to be a podcast about that. There's podcasts about everything. Exactly. There's a podcast about. There's many podcasts about community. There are. There's a, a shit ton. And none of them want to be our friend. Some of them followed us. Yeah, but they don't interact with us like that. You never tweet about anything. All you do is tweet memes. I'm just a regular Joe. <laughs> well, I want to save my takes for the pod. Yeah, yeah. Disperse them everywhere. There's got to be a balance. We need that. We need that social engagement. Yeah, maybe, yeah. That's true. So Pilot likes the episode. Yeah. I think um, I mean I agree with their takes. I mean I guess I agree with the one take because the first take was just, oh, this is probably their last season. Which is wrong, yeah. but they didn't know that. And then the last take I agree with. So it, it kind of points me back to I don't buy into this whole first sentence, last sentence thing necessarily. <laughs> yeah, playing my dad's friend who taught me that one at a very young age. Yeah. Um, very impressionable. Also picking up by my, by my ears. Yeah, that's, that's, this is the same guy that picked me up by my ears once. Okay. <laughs> when I was very young, I was like, I just grabbed both ears and lifted me up on my ears. That was the most pain I've been in, I've been in my in my life at that point. <laughs> yeah. That was. That, that was ugh. Anyway, community. Community. Uh, what, let's see. Do I have any notes left? What the fuck? Um, let's see here. Um, Brian's well, checking his notes. Brian's checking his notes. <laughs> Brian's checking his notes. Brian's checking his notes. I figure I might as well just sing it now, so I can save some time later when I'm editing. <laughs> and, and before I suggest, we should get a Brian checking his nose. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> um, yeah, my my final notes were that um, Bob's storyline is good. It's uh, except um, um, I don't know. I I the 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 any pick was just annoying as shit. Like. It kind of proved that, like... Wait, hold on. Sorry, can you repeat that? There was, like, a glitch, and I didn't hear that. I want to make sure I get it for the recording. Oh, um... The girl Annie picked was annoying as fuck. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Absolutely. Um, it kind of it kind of, went, kind of went to show how little they know Abed, I guess. Or it was I... interesting. 
I well, think no, that I could see why she would pick that person for Abed. I think that made sense. Yeah, it's 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 like it was it was actually it's a good way of to see like how well they know Ab- Abed. Mm-hmm. And Shirley doesn't. Yeah, I guess not. Um, Shirley just wants him to convert to Christianity and marry a nice Christian woman. Yeah, that's true. Um, yeah, but um, I, I guess that was my fi- that was my final note there. I didn't take many notes during this episode. I kind of got caught up playing Among Us well, what, on my phone. Yeah. Okay, well, what did you think of Brie Larson? Like, we haven't talked about the fact that Brie Larson is in this episode at all. I don't. I don't know who that is. Uh, she's uh, she's in the Marvel world. She plays Captain Marvel. So that's that exactly. I have no idea who that okay, is. Right. I don't know what Captain Marvel is. Okay, I thought you were a big comic book person. Um, I'm more of a DC person. I'm more of a, like, I follow like I like the X Men on Marvel. Aquaman like, fan. Spider Man. No, I, I I like certain characters. I, I like Spider Man. I follow Spider Man. I used to follow the X Men. Used to follow. Bat- I'm a big Batman person. That's about it. Okay. And like independent stuff too. Independent stuff. Yeah. Like Bazooka Joe comics. That, yeah, that's as independent as it gets. <laughs> Man, I want to see Bazooka Joe now. I'll just read a little. Was pretty good when I was like six years old. I'm pretty sure I would find it gross now, though. So. I don't know. I, I that that was my that was my gum for baseball. It's Bazooka Joe. No, you got to go with that well, big league yeah. chew. Did you ever do big league chew? Oh yeah, I, I did big league chew. Yeah, yeah, that's where it's at for baseball. It makes oh. you feel like you're chewing on tobacco. But I was more interested in comics than baseball. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, maybe if I got maybe if my parents got me big league chew, I would have been more focused on baseball. <laughs> maybe. Okay, what's your what's your go to gum now? Uh, Orbit. Orbit. Okay. Orbit's not bad. I'm all about Trident. I like fruity gums now. Okay. I don't, I don't do mint gums really anymore. Like the classic bubble gum flavor, I just now find to be really gross. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I'd, I'd expect a covered gum on this episode. You never know where the night's gonna take us. Right. Um, so on that note, are we running out of steam here or what? I think so. I mean, I don't have anything else to add to, to this. Yeah, I, I didn't have a lot to say about this episode, honestly. Like I said, I got caught up playing Among Us. Uh-huh. But it's about an episode my that you don't know why. We don't know why you picked it. I mean, we're running. No, we're, I picked it because we didn't. I picked it because we needed a representative for season four. But why? I guess that's what I would say. Why do we need? Why do we need to represent every season? Why do we need shit like wedding videography and her story of dance? I mean, I I ended up liking this episode, but at the outset of this, I was like, why the fuck are we talking about a season six episode and a season four episode? I just wanted our our takes about all the seasons to come out. I thought one way of doing that is by picking an episode from each season. All right, and, but okay, but but you don't like this one that much. I mean, how would you? Do you think it's the worst episode we're talking about? This season? Um, no. Like, do you think this episode yeah. out of the fifteen that we have is the worst one? Yeah. 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 I mean, I don't know. Yeah, I think uh, for like. Go ahead. Yeah, for for this for this for this season of the of the pod, podcast, yeah. Well, no, I don't mean is yeah, this our worst, worst episode? Like, is this not is this our worst? No, episode? I mean of the episodes of Community we've picked, is this the is this the one that you hold in the least regard? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, for sure. All right. I yeah. like wedding wedding videography a lot more. Really. Yeah. Okay. I mean, that's fair. Um, what was the season five episode we talked about? Uh, ap- 
development and condiments. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. That's that's a, that's a that's a superior episode. Oh, absolutely. I mean, sure. all of season five is better than season four. I would say, except for the the, the GI Joe episode and six too. And season six too. No, I'd say there's some episodes in season six that are better than most of season five. Okay. I don't know. Maybe maybe there's this rewatch community again. Now that I've re- now that I've um, finished Shameless and I don't know what to do with myself. Uh, I mean, you could watch that show Manifest. What's Manifest? It's about a plane that disappeared for five years and then showed up and everyone was alive and it's I don't know it's kind of like Lost. Were you a Lost fan? No, I've never seen it. Oh well, then go with that. That's what you should watch next. Is Lost. Nah, that always sounds stupid. What? Why? Yeah, I, I just, I, I don't know. Like, it had, like, I don't know. I'm not into, like, shows that, like, everyone loves like that. Like, I'm not I'm not in the game of, like, Game of Thrones or Lost or... I mean, I, mean, I feel like, like Shameless has been very popular. I mean, Shameless, the... Uh, uh, what was the last one you watched? Uh, the Sopranos. I mean, I feel like those are two very popular shows. Yeah, but like I mean, I'm I'm talking about a different, like a, a specific era of TV where it's like Lost, Mad Men, Breaking Bad, um, Game of Thrones. Now it's just like those, like kind of like vaguely like nerdy shows. I mean, I've never watched Game of Thrones or Mad Men or Breaking Bad, so I don't know if those are nerdy. Maybe Lost is nerdy. I don't really feel like it was, but yeah, I don't know. I felt like some nerd shit. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not a big drama guy either. Okay, again, Except Shameless, for Sopranos. The Sopranos. Okay, I guess Shameless is a drama. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it's got it's definitely a, it's, it has humor, but it's usually dark humor. But I'd say it's more of a drama yeah. than a comedy. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's, yeah, that makes sense. I don't know. I, my t- my taste in TV is just hard to, to pin down. I guess. Don't make me pick Lost for our next collection. Oh no! Please don't. I'm not watching that. <laughs> well, <laughs> maybe you are. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um. So I think that's about it, right? How long do we go? We, this is gonna be a short episode. All right. Well, thanks for listening. Uh, tune in next time. Uh, sign up for a Patreon. All right. Anyway, peace out. Okay. Have a good one.